My favorite thing about my character, Lewis, is he is very much me. And that's the cool thing about this character, because there wasn't much work to get into it. Lewis is me minus a few things. One, I do not drink. I, I don't party hard as Lewis would. I damn sure wouldn't be going to no beach after drinking like that, or especially if there's a fight going on. That's not something I would do when it's you know something I'm watching, some sort of sporting event or anything. I watch, I focus, and Lewis is very like, all right, let's just do this, let's just do that. But at the same time, we're very much alike. Lewis wasn't a character where when you said action, I would get into the zone, but you would still be like, oh, that's still Tony. My favorite scene to shoot. Oof, that's tough. My favorite scene to shoot, I would say, it's hard, man, it's a toss up right now. It's either gonna be, when we're all at the house getting ready to watch the fight because I don't know, it just felt very real. It didn't feel like we were acting. It felt like I was, I mean, I know everybody that was there for the most part. You know, the only ones I really don't know were the two girls, but you know, for all the fellas, I knew everyone. But even though I knew them, I didn't know them as Anthony or Billy or Matt. I knew them as Joey, Cody, Big Mike. That's who I knew them as. I didn't know them as the, the, the characters, their real life personas. I knew them as their characters. But I mean, that was a cool scene. I don't know, I really enjoyed that scene. But Oh man, hyped. Like, when that teaser poster came out, I was like, all right, yeah, this is cool. I can understand why everybody's kind of quiet. But when that teaser number one came out, and I'm looking, and, and I see seven views, 47 views, 107 views, 250 views, 300, 400, 500, I'm like, whoa, okay, this this is cool. And that's when I said, okay, people are getting hype already. You know, to me, that's a lot. I know into the social media world, it's like, really, 500, what's that? But listen, small bit budget, small town, 500 views is a lot to me. And that's when I suggested, you know what? We should do a second one. All right, and for the second one, you know, we, uh, as me and Matt, you know, and um, Dan from Pararac Entertainment, we went along and we uh, we worked together in making that first teaser. The second one, I didn't know what to expect. I just threw an idea out there and I just said, all right, let's see what it comes up with. But when I seen that, I heard that scream. I was like, and the thing about those teasers, that's when the phone was blowing up. Hey man, I want to go see this. Oh, I got to see this now. Oh wow, this looks real. It doesn't. It looks like a movie movie. This looks intense. What's going on? Was that a drill? Was that a saw? Was that... It was just so cool. And, and I think when I was younger, seeing videos like when they go black and all you hear is screaming. I got that from the Texas Chainsaw. When I... There's this trailer that they do and all you hear is just screaming footsteps you hear him rev up that chain chainsaw and it's just like man here it comes what's gonna happen and then right when he starts cutting through it the black turns like he's cutting through the screen it was just cool that's what made me want to do that teaser and it worked people got hype man but that teaser was off the hook